Hey everyone, welcome back. First of all, great job on creating your own animated GIFs last week. This week is gonna be our final part of our creating a cartoon project. We are gonna be taking the very first sketches of our characters. We're gonna be taking our animated GIF. Maybe you wanna make a new one, that's okay too. And we're gonna be putting them all together into a little collection. I'm gonna be having each of you make your very own slide in a Google slide deck. And on that slide, you're gonna be including some details about your cartoon show. So we're not just thinking about our characters this time. This time around, we're thinking of our characters as the lead character in a cartoon show. So I'm gonna be asking you what the title of your show is, a little bit about your show, maybe the, the plot or the synopsis, and there's gonna be some spots for you to include some other fun details. I'm feeling really good about this. I think it's going to be a great time and it's going to be awesome to see what you all come up with. So uh, this is going to be more digital based uh, working. So make sure that your device is fully charged. Let's go. All right, everyone. Welcome to the Van Heist Cartoon Showcase. I'm going to be showing you how to do this today on the fifth grade uh, showcase. Fourth graders, yours will look pretty much the same, but it will say fourth grade at the top. So this is a Google slide deck, which we are pretty familiar with using, but this time everyone is gonna be getting their very own slide. So if you look over here on the left, there are all these slides that look almost identical. You're gonna click on one of these slides and it's gonna be your job to fill out all of this information. Now, the first thing that you might wanna do is to put your GIF your small animation right here in this big location. Um, you could either upload it from your computer where it should be saved, or you could go back into our VHE animation slide deck and copy and paste it. So there's my Sterosaurus GIF from last week. I'm going to select copy back here, and now I'm going to click here and let's see. Paste, there it is. I can stretch my GIF all the way over the text right there and put it in the center. Awesome. So I want the title for my cartoon show to be Sterosaurus. So I'm gonna go right up here. I'm going to alter this so it says Sterosaurus. But, oops, looks like I had a little spelling error there. That looks a little bit boring to me, so I think I'm gonna highlight it and change the font. Let's see. Mm. One of my favorite fonts is this font called Bangers. It's kind of small, so now I'm gonna have to change the size of my font. Might have to make my box a little bigger. That looks pretty good. Now I'm gonna center it in this white box, and maybe I'll give it a color. I kind of like this green for the title of my show, but I want this background, this little border behind it to also match. So I'm going to click on that border and I can go to that paint bucket tool right here to change that so it matches. There we go. This is looking pretty cool. All right. So there's a section right here that says additional drawings go here. I want you to include some uh, some drawings that you've created. It kind of gives a nice contrast between the pixelated animation and something that's hand drawn or done with pencil. So I actually came up with a few sketches of things that I wanted to include in my cartoon show. And I'm going to put that image into this slide deck. So you could do this by either doing a insert image and then going down to the camera. That should turn on the camera on your device. I was able to take a picture on a different camera and upload it to my computer. Let's see if it's there. All right, there's my image. Now it's really big. You can see some sketches that I made here. I'm gonna make it a little bit smaller and I'm even going to crop it so it can fit inside of this space right here. Now to crop, we're gonna go to this tool right here. It looks like two different corners of papers kind of coming together. I'm gonna click that and then I can change the size of my image just like this. Hit enter, bloop, and there we go. 
It's nice and small. I'm going to try my best to fit it into this box. So now that we've resized it, I'm going to go to format options and we can kind of change this photo to make it blend in a little bit more. I can go down to adjustments and recolor and I can recolor this image so that it's in black and white instead of it looking kind of yellowish like it does. So now it's in black and white and for adjustments, I can change the brightness of it. So I could make the picture kind of a little bit closer match to the background white here. I can turn up the contrast to make those lines a little bit darker. And you know, you can just kind of play around with it until you get something that you like. I kind of like that. I think the sketches look good like this. Uh, they're really easy to see. And I think um, it'll be easier for other people to read and understand what sketches I included. So. After you've included your sketches, your moving animated GIF here, now it's time to start thinking a little bit more about your cartoon show. So the first thing you're going to do is go down to this spot right here where it says name and you're going to put in your name. Followed by your show title, you can simply highlight this right here and go over that with your show title. And now we can start filling out some descriptive uh, sort of information about our show. So the age range, who is this show intended for? What uh, age of kids or people do you envision in joining this cartoon show? I'm gonna say ages five to 12. That's the age range. That's the kids um, ages for whom I am making this show. The setting, that's where the show takes place. Now you can see up here, I included one of my sketches says Volcano Island. That's gonna be the setting of my cartoon show. So I'm going to um, maybe write a couple sentences about that setting. All right, I said this show takes place on Volcano Island. It's in the middle of a prehistoric ocean and is filled with interesting creatures. The island is named after its one large volcano that keeps the island and surrounding waters warm with its frequent eruptions. Now I'm going to go down to plot and I am going to give a little description of what my show is about. Okay. <clears throat> My plot of Sterosaurus is, Sterosaurus is about a kind dinosaur who explores the many wonders of Volcano Island with her best friend, Terry Dactyl. The two friends often get into trouble when adventuring and must learn how to find their way out of sticky situations. Because of Sterosaurus's staircase-like spine, she is able to help critters of all sizes reach food in the high up trees. Dino leaves are the favorite food of Sterosaurus, and she'll do just about anything to find them. All right, if you wanna change the font or the size of these letters, you can, but otherwise, I think I'm gonna call that good. Okay, so that is how you create your very own cartoon show creation slide. Uh, if you have any questions about any of these steps, hedgehogs, feel free to send me an email. I'd be happy to get back to you and uh, try to help you out as best I can. Um, you can definitely modify each part of this project to make it a little bit more individual and uh, more unique to you. But otherwise, I think it's going to be a really fun time looking at all of these different slides and seeing what kinds of ideas our different classmates are coming up with. Hope you have fun with this and uh, make sure to have something up and ready to show by our next Zoom meeting. We'll see you next time.